What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I'm here in the shop, I'm getting a few things ready to go out and shoot my new Hoyt Ventum Pro. But there's one more thing I needed to finalize on this bow before I could take it out to the range and that is tying in my peep sight. So, I wanted to make a video for you guys on how I go about doing that a little bit more in depth. I got some feedback from the bow build video that there were certain things that you guys wanted to see more in depth process of. And I might be doing that with my RX-7 build in terms of how I'm installing the strings, what I'm doing when I'm putting twists in or out of the strings and cables. So first things first, we're gonna grab our bow. I'm gonna throw an arrow in it. I got my release and I also got a Sharpie. So I'm gonna run my sight down to about 40, 45 yards right in there. And that's kind of gonna be my mid range to set my peep sight at. Now, this sight tape isn't perfect for this bow. It's very close off of a similar setup. But for now, for a reference, um, I'm just gonna run it to 45 yards, lock it in there. And then I'm gonna pull my bow back and get settled in my anchor and look through my peep sight. And I wanna have that peep sight perfectly aligned halo to halo with the sight housing. So say this is your peep sight and this is your sight housing. You don't want them to be meshed half and half, high or low, you want them to be perfectly meshed, looking right through center to center of each other. I'm gonna just pull back, get into my anchor, and see whether I need to adjust the peep sight up or down. Got it set perfectly. So I don't need to move it up or down. I actually had it pretty close um, when I was setting the bow up earlier. So had I needed to, I would just slide this peep sight up or down just a little bit being that it's not tied in. And now for reference, so I'm just gonna come in here with the marker and put a black mark right on that string, right in the center. So I've got that mark on that peep sight. So I know if I have to, I can come back and put it right back to the same place. So now I'm gonna throw it on the bench and get to tying this peep in. All right, I've got my serving. I've gone ahead and cut off about a two foot piece of serving. You might think, wow, that's a lot of serving material, but you'd be surprised tying in a peep sight how much serving you actually end up using with all the wraps. Now I wanted to mention, I learned this tie-in technique from my buddy Levi Morgan. Levi is one of the greatest archers in the world and I highly value and respect his opinion on archery, tuning, just everything that has to do with bows and arrows. I really, really value his opinion. So anyway, I wanted to mention that this is not my original idea or technique, but I've had a lot of you guys reach out in the comments as well as direct message on Instagram in regards to making more videos around my setup specifically, how I like to do things. So I just thought I would make this video for you guys. Like I say, this is Levi's technique. That's where I learned it from. There's a thousand different ways that people tie in peep sites. This way has just worked very, very well for me. And so I wanted to pass it on to my audience. But yeah, let's get right into this and I'll show you guys how to tie in a peep sight. All right, here we go. So we've got our peep sight. We've made sure that it is perfectly in line with the mark that we just made, checking our alignment with uh, our anchor point and the sight housing. Now I've got my about two foot piece of serving and we're gonna start tying this thing in. Also tried to wear a white t-shirt for this process, so hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing with the string a little bit easier on camera. Top cam of the bow this way, bottom cam of the bow this way. So we're gonna start with feeding about two or three inches of the serving up through the bottom of the string and wedging it right to the front of the string in that notch, okay? Take that short tag line and hold it back here and I'm gonna wrap the whole string once with the long end and then I'm gonna hold that tight right there, okay? Now I'm gonna take the tag end and fold it back towards the bottom cam and I'm gonna wrap the whole thing over that tag end about maybe six times 
just like that. Now, I'm gonna take that short tag end and just lay it back again, just like this. Just hold it there with my hand. And then I'm gonna start taking the long end of the tag and feeding this backside string. So this split right here, I'm gonna start feeding this backside string with the long end of the tag and making wraps and making wraps down that back side, nice and tight. Now you can wrap this all the way, you know, string to string, but I like to leave a little bit of a gap. I think it looks more aesthetically pleasing. It's all gonna hold either way, but. I'm gonna wrap that all the way until I get to the barrel of the peep side itself. Now that we've brought this nice and clean all the way up to the barrel of the peep sight, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that barrel three times, just like this. Keeping that even spacing inside the actual notch, just like that. Now that I've got that wrapped, I'm gonna take this peep sight and just rotate it around towards me. And then I'm gonna start feeding this opposite string, okay? So I'm holding that tight with my thumb. I'm just gonna start feeding that. Again, even spacing. Now that I've got this side wrapped, nice and even, as you can see, got even wraps on this side and this side. Now I'm gonna take that long tag line and I'm gonna wrap the whole string nice and tight. Okay, now I've got that wrapped six times on the back end. Now I'm gonna hold this with some pressure, just like this, and on the opposite side of the string, away from me, I'm gonna take this line I'm gonna start wrapping it and bringing it through this loop, okay? See that? All while keeping pressure on this back end. I'm gonna do that about seven times. Okay, now I've got that wrapped. Now I'm gonna take this tag end and I'm gonna lay it forward and hold it right there on that string just like that. Then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna start wrapping. Now you'll see as I'm wrapping, I'm taking wraps out of this back end that I just made. When you get done with all of those wraps, keeping it nice and tight, you're gonna end up with a loop like that. Now, I'm just gonna take this back tag end, the long tag end, and start pulling. Keeping that nice and tight. Just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna cinch it, pull it nice and tight. There you go. Now you can see on the back end that tag is underneath those wraps. We've got just a tag hanging off back here. Go ahead and cut these tag lines, burn them down. There we go. Got a nice even tie in. Looks pretty and it's gonna do exactly what we need it to, which is keeping that peep in place and not allowing it to move.
All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Just got this peep all finished up and I'm gonna head out and start shooting this bow. I wanna get some reps through this thing and uh, get a really good feel out process of how this bow is gonna shoot. I'm gonna be making a video here on that as well. I've got a ton of content coming your way, guys. I appreciate y'all watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like. Uh, comment down below with other videos you'd like to see. Like I say, this was a video that came about due to comments from you guys, insight from you guys, and I really appreciate that. So yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.